I've, I've enjoyed this game so far, I'm not going to lie to you. It's not the most realistic thing ever, but it kind of feels like it's harking back to what Toka Race Driver used to be all about. Um, and you can't really ask for more from this game because it's not designed to be the most realistic simulation ever. Looks like we're starting off today with number 12, which is high voltage. Now, I think I attempted this right at the end of the stream last time um, and didn't quite make it through or didn't unlock the next one. I need to finish second or higher to unlock that, so that's going to be interesting. Okay, let's get going then. We've got the electric Formula E lookalike car. Right, where are we going to try and get past? The AI are really fun to race in this game, I must say. You can go outside, inside, and they will battle you properly. They do crash a lot, as we've just seen. But P6, halfway around the first lap, not so bad at all. Okay, here's the speed boost, so we're going to make sure we get the gate. Almost crashed into the back of Ethan. There we go. We're going to use a boost to get past Ethan, who's also got a boost as well, so he might come back through, but... We'll make the position when we can. Use another boost here. And we're comfortably in P5 now. Onto lap 2. This is the faster cane where I had a massive crash last time. But I reckon I'm going to save this next speed boost for the next big straight. And we're going to try and take P3. Alright, let's go for it now. No, oh, that was a bad time to use it. That was a very bad time to use it. I've just completely screwed myself over there. Use a boost on exit. That's P3, finally. Okay. It's going to be third place. I don't know if that's enough. I can't quite remember. We get our fifth or higher and the event unlocked, so I do believe that we are going to move on. This is it. It's the final race of the season. Seneca are within striking distance of making it to the Pro League for next season, and the board of directors expect nothing less. All right, this is to get into the Pro League then, but it's a point-to-point. -point. Interesting. Okay. Second place or higher. Oh, okay. Raven West are about to be introduced to the story as well. Let's let's get this done then. Let's get a good result here. I'm, again, I'm going to be relying hugely on the map because it's a point-to-point -point version of Okatam. I don't know if that's going to how that's going to differ from the circuits that I do know. Oh, that wasn't great. Horrible. Had to change down a couple of gears. Okay, we're back up to fifth place. So. We're just about recovering from disaster. Only 50% of the way through the race. Still got quite a few positions to try and make up here. I'm kind of struggling here to have the pace to, to take the fight to the guys right at the front. Let's send one down the inside here. Now we've got like a Togue style road. So this is definitely completely different Okatama to the one I know. That's his passer teammate up into P3. Thankfully didn't make any contact. And then we've just got the two Volts cars ahead of us. I can get through. I think I think both of these teams are going to qualify for the Pro League. So I don't know if we need to beat them necessarily or we can finish kind of behind them. Oh, this is quite a good track, actually. No, I'm not going to do anything against Laurie Dixon. I've got no speed boost. It's going to be P3. I don't know if that's enough. I'm not, not convinced. It's actually saying the only option here is to restart. So even though the commentary said we'd made it to the Pro League, I think I need to finish second to actually get in. They've all backed off. This is my chance to get in amongst the Volts cars right on the outside of Valentin. Yes. But this 4 GT feels pretty good. I'd say it probably feels better on a proper circuit rather than like this kind of Togue style point to point race. But I mean, it's fun to drive and you can still get a lot of feedback from the car. You know what it's doing underneath you most of the time. I'm going to try and go in the outside of Laurie. And that's the finish. So it's going to be P1. Finally, a victory. And this time we are definitely through to the Pro League, which is good. The Grid World Series once again revs up its engines, and the Pro Series is the pinnacle of racing, Nice. Where our teams need to stay in the safety zone and be... Oh, that's cool. We're all trying to make it. Oh, here we are. Here's Nathan. Is this water for me? Been looking forward to this. You're making me thirsty, Nathan. Hi. I'm Nathan McCain. Five-time Grid Series world champion. Soon to be six times. And that's a new record. Not yet, mate. Not yet. And this is his new Raven West teammate. Second place if you can, but you stay behind Nathan. I'm clear. Yes. Fine. Do you understand, Valtteri? Okay. Pro season. Finish tenth or higher. I'm just gonna try and find oh any space I can to get past the AI. They've completely blocked me off there. Looks like I've got yeah. That's Valentin Manzi behind me as well, which is interesting. The objective for this race, by the way, is just to finish 10th, so that's good. They're not expecting us to be winning in the Pro League straight away. They're trying to be realistic and showing that Nathan McCain's way out in front and you've just got to try and finish in the top 10. So I really like that about when a racing game doesn't just expect you to win all the time despite being a rookie. It feels a little bit more realistic in that sense and a little you get a little bit more 
feel, you know, you get a better feeling uh, when you actually do get a good result and win a race because you feel like you've earned it. That's me fully on the brake pedal. Absolute chaos into the chicane. <laughs> Those cars were spinning about me. I did not cause that. But I definitely didn't help the situation by plowing in there way too fast. <laughs> but it actually worked. I'm in fifth place. I'm going to aim for third in this race. That is going to be my target. Okay. Finally got it in. And the guy in second's got no rear wing. So maybe at P2. Oh, we almost lost it over the bump there. Where's Where's um, Nathan? I'm guessing Nathan McCain was leading at the start, so he must have been wiped out in that massive shunt at the chicane, which is interesting. Lara gets a bit sideways on the curb. I got the power on early, but she's pretty good on the exit as well. It's going to be a chicane dive bomb, isn't it? Although the damage, I think, is giving her issues even in a straight line, despite less aero. Well, let's just get it done at 130R. I ended up winning. Honestly, I did not deserve that at all. I swear I wiped out half the field in the chicane and got away with it, but not bad. Winning on debut in the Pro League on, on Legendary, that is a good start, and I do not expect it to continue like that. Okay. McCain, and, is this Ryan, Ryan McCain? I love that they're playing so much into the pantomime villain thing. Like I'm, I'm fully for that with this kind of game. I really am. Oh, there they are. Nathan and Valtteri Bottas. The fans are the only reason why any of us have a job. Well, well of course, pile of gold is the reason you have a job. Whoa. Oh, yeah, well, come on, come on, Nathan. No matter what I do. Don't be like that. Okay, so clearly Lara's not as bad as Nathan. She's, you know, she seems like she's got some decency in her. That's the, we're establishing the story arcs here. I like it. Hard on the brakes, stayed in the inside. Oh, I've, I've crashed into my teammate. I'm, I'm very sorry, Tanika. Oh, no. These cars, when you first drive them, trust me, you will absolutely despise them. You really need to give them a little bit of time to get used to the way they handle. Oh, hey, Nathan. How's it going? You definitely made me want to crash into you with your smug little face. Right, another car getting lapped. All right, here we go. I'm going to I'm gonna try and, you know, be the good guy here. I'm going to try and take the moral high ground. If you want to wreck me, that is fine. But I'm not going to intentionally wreck you for now. If I win the first two rounds of Pro League, I don't know what's going to happen to Raven West, but they're not going to be too chuffed. We've got it. That's going to be another win. We'll try and keep the momentum going, but I'm, <laughs> I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not convinced it will stay for too long. Oh, it's multi-class. Sweet. Okay, so we were in the Shelby GT500. We'll stick to this kind of uh, dashboard camera since you can't see my steering wheel. Oh, in the stream anyway. Tanaka's literally blocked me off already. Good teamwork. It's not multi-class as you know it because they're using a really cool staggered system. So the slower cars will start first. Then the faster cars will start, and you've got to not only beat the people in your class, but you've also got to catch the slower cars. You're going to see on the left there, that gap to the pro trucks, just reduce throughout. Lap two. Seems like we're third in class. That is absolutely fine right now. I'm not in any rush. Just trying to learn the track. Spinners, there's, there's exactly why I'm not in a rush. Seven seconds now, to the, and that's not to the first pro truck, that's to the last pro truck. So actually, Nathan's probably in quite a good position out in front, because I've got to get past all of them before I can get to him. Go around the outside of Corti, turn into the inside. This is probably where I'm slowest on the whole lap. Understeer. Oh, those trucks are very quick in a straight line. They're the same speed as me, I think, in a straight line. They just don't have as much speed around the corners. Oh, they're very sideways. Look at that. Sending it in. I'm very sideways as well. Bit of contact. I don't know. I can't remember what the objective was. I think it might have been P7. Finish eighth or higher. I think that might be enough. I just don't get how they're doing it. Is it something in the fuel system? Are oh, they cheating? I just won a street racing festival in Brasilia when Marco Sado offered me the seat at Seneca. I didn't even hesitate. Ah. Time, Ryan McCain offered me twice as much to join Raven West. Interesting. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, she doesn't seem happy, does she? I can sense a little bit of tension there in Valtteri's voice. I feel like Valtteri does regret the decision a little bit. Okay, we've got complete three laps of Red Bull Ring. We are in, this looks like a GT1 from this angle. Yes, oh yes, the Lotus. This is cool. Okay, we're driving a, a Lotus GT1, probably from about 1997. GT1 cars, my favorite ever class of motorsport. And this Lotus was used in like the British GT Championship, stuff like that, a very unique car. 
And we're doing Red Bull Ring in reverse, which I've never done before, but I am fully here for this because... Oh, it's Red Bull Ring short as well. Because it's always fun to drive tracks you know in reverse. But I think that was good. My, first, my second lap was quick. I don't know if it counts as a qualifying thing. Probably not, but it's just meant to kind of simulate qualifying. I will take that, though. TKO. Seneca engineers suspect that Nathan McCain's victories are not down to just driving skill. There are some people, engineers from Seneca, that think it's actually cheating that's going on, which is interesting. There's a lot of that in real-life racing and politics. You're constantly hearing of people that think other people are cheating. Grid World Series. Oh, okay, so this is like highlights of races that I don't get to do. So I've come third in that race. Second in that one behind the Raven West car, it looks like. So McCain is dominating, but we're we're definitely the closest team. In a word? Unprecedented. Oh. It's not just that they've worked their way into the upper midfield on such a small budget. It's that they're finally doing it with both drivers. Yes. Looks like we're in trucks. Okay, first time racing these trucks. Judging by what I had seen from the multi-class race, you're going to be very sideways a lot of the time. Oh yeah, these things are pretty understeery, which is what you'd expect. They feel good though, so far. This is this is like it feels like a stock car. So far, this is turning out like all of those races that we just saw in the cutscene, which is interesting because we were basically second or third behind Nathan every single time. Oh, finally got myself on the inside for this corner and made up a lot of ground. I can sense a race win coming here. Get the apex. Oh, at hello, tires. Nice to see you again. Okay, I've got Lara right behind me as well, so Lara, being the wingman, is going to pass me now. I've just made another mistake. There she goes. We're absolutely fine for our objective, I'm sure about that. Oh, interesting. Lara is having a go at McCain out in front. I'm just going to try my best to get back into that battle. And then this is the corner I'm also misjudging every time. Made the apex this time. Oh, here we go. This just feels like, I feel like I'm playing the original race driver grid all over again. Fighting out with two Raven West cars at the front. Oh, Nathan's misjudged that. Touch the barrier. We're going to get make a move down the inside. Keep it in. Yes. Okay. We're up into P1. Going to leave a bit of room. Oh. Oh, he's just crashed into me. What are you doing? Snack is out. Nope, it's just me and Lara. So Lara did get past Nathan. Interesting. There we go. In we go. Yes. First win in an elimination. Very, very happy with that. We need to prove that we're here to stay. I think we can do that. Finish fifth or higher. Okay. Now, these cars, they're awesome. I've not driven them in this game, but I know they're going to be fast. And my guess is they're going to be very difficult to get slowed down because they're going to be heavy. We can get close to them. Big acceleration, already doing 100, already doing 150, oh my goodness, already doing 180, I'm going to hit the brakes. Now I do not know Strada Alpina at all, so this is complete guesswork following the map. This might be one of those races where we need to restart. Hopefully not though, oh my goodness, this thing is absolutely ridiculous. 180 miles an hour, 190 through the apex, 200 miles an hour, brake, don't need to change down. And it's got loads of downforce as well. Now, you'll be watching this and thinking, this looks very arcadey, and you're 100% right. This feels very arcadey. Let's use another boost there. 238 miles an hour, heading into turn one. Oh! Yeah, track limits. That apex was in a different country. Definitely, definitely want to try and have a cleaner last lap. That is... <laughs> no, that's... Uh, no, just no. I've reset back into the middle of the track that, that's not clean your last lap that was different oh, you can feel the weight transfer under brakes back in really kicking out so you can probably muck around with the brake bias a little bit my nemesis is now Tanaka for some reason okay I think we're through because we came third Okay, so the commentary team is, is basically charging the narrative that we're getting away from Volts towards Raven West. I still think Volts are very good. Um, but looks like, yeah, we are bringing the fight to Raven West, which is good. Lots of testosterone.
That was unnecessary, Nathan. We're racing in Dubai, but I think it's the street version of Dubai. It's not Abu Dhabi or or the Dubai International Circuit. Don't have a clue what's going to happen here. Don't know what kind of cars we're going to be in. Hopefully something that's not the Lotus we just drove. Oh, GTE, is it? No, we're, oh, we're in the Brabham. Okay, so this is, I believe, the Brabham BT62. Now, I've been very excited to drive this car because I think it is gorgeous in real life and I've not seen it in action as much as I would have liked to, so I'm excited about this. This feels very good already. Right, new circuit, 15th place, 14 cars to get past, which is a lot. 15 cars to get past now. Oops, a daisy. I guess that's 10 cars to get past. This car, so far, so good. Feels like lots of grip, lots of downforce, but not absolutely ridiculous. I would like to drive it on something a little more familiar. But this is a very pretty looking circuit. I feel like I can get on board with this one. Oh my goodness, my TV's gonna turn off. Wait, let me pause this. I just got a massive pop-up in the middle of the screen. Okay, let's continue that, shall we? Am I going right? Am I going straight? Well, I'm going right. Ow. So, sorry, what I was saying, very, very pretty scenery, so I could definitely get behind this circuit once I learn it. How good does this Brabham look, though? I think it's an absolutely stunning car. Oh, my... My heart rate. Oh, my goodness, that corner every time. It's the brakes. I think I might need to play around with the tuning a little bit. Maybe move the bias forward, or just be a little more careful on the brake. Oh, someone's flipped in front. Some free positions, thank you very much. That's P8. Oh, that Pagani. The sound of the V12 from out front is just epic. It's going to be 8th position. I don't think that's enough, but I, I, I'm confident that on the second go, like, so far, I've not had to take more than two attempts at any of these races, and I'm hoping to keep that going. I'm thinking, I need to finish fourth or better. I'm going to call it now. I'm going to finish fourth on the nose in this race. Oh! Down inside of my teammate, try not make an enemy with her this time. That is much better. Okay, P6. Look at those gorgeous Mazdas, though. I just really wish that more was done with those concepts. It feels like they were always just an epic idea that existed in some way, but never really got showcased as much as they could have been. Oh my goodness. It's going to be P3. That was good fun. I really, really enjoyed that race. And again, perfect difficulty level. First time through, I failed. Made some mistakes. Got to know the track a little bit, and suddenly I was able to fight. But I feel like if I did it again, I maybe would be able to take Raven West. I am excited about this. Time attack. Yes. San Francisco. A track I should know, thanks to my race driver grid knowledge. We're going to give it a go. We're in... Oh my goodness. We're in an old Ford GT40. Okay. Five tenths up. It's Tanaka in front of us. Oh, watch the tyre barrier. Eight tenths up. Much better. Come on, keep it going. Oh, chaos in front, though. This is not what you need. Valentin. No, Valentin. What are you doing? I thought we were friends. Right, the time's definitely there. This is why you need space. And I've got a lovely gap now in front of me. There's going to be P1 ahead of Nathan McCain. Come on. No, oh, I lost three tenths. Now, I keep mucking up this corner because I don't really know when it starts. Three tenths up. This is definitely the lap. Come on. Rubbish through the last bit, but it was smooth. So I'm thinking this could still be pole. Come on. First place. One lap to go. Yes. Hopefully we hang on, though, for a win in our first time attack. Fifth. Fifth. And... <laughs> The objective was finish fourth or higher, and I missed out by two hundredths of a second, so I'm going to have to do that again. Wow, I didn't expect to fail that. I think that's my teammate ahead of me. Two tenths up. Yeah, it's Tanaka. Get out of the way, Tanaka. Don't screw me out of this lap, please. Very nice. She's going to be so in the way in this last corner. Six tenths up. Oh, Tanaka. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. Slipstream, actually, she's helping me. This has got to be the win. 38.3. Still not a win, so clearly they, they go quicker at the end, but it is going to be P2. Right, next event. Guys, this is going to be the last event 
of this stream, but thank you so much again for joining me. I've really, really enjoyed plowing through this. Nathan McCain. <laughs> what was that today, man? You got a problem with me, Valentine? I got no problem dealing with you. If you want to trash talk me in the press, mm. that's fine. Oh, this is... I wish we had this to drive to survive. That stops. But you're going to get somebody hurt. Yeah? Christian and Toto going at it. It'll be you. Hey! 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 hey. The drama. Unbelievable. So we know it's I've seen that scene many times <laughs> in all the previews and stuff. And what about Seneca? People are saying they're the real threats, and you seem to get more aggressive every time you face them. Smug little face. You know what? I'm done. Take your mic. Nathan's having a strop. I honestly don't know why. The question was totally legit. He's a bit of a wet fish, Nathan McCain. Let's be honest. Finish fourth or higher, and I think it's an elimination. And okay, aerial atoms and KTM crossbows. The first corner is Eastern Creek. The second corner is Eastern Creek. But I didn't know there was a name change, so I'm a bit confused by that. We'll try that again. We'll try that again. Straight up into P4, behind Tanaka, and of course the two Raven West cars. Yeah, this is. I'm seeing. The exact... I'm seeing Eastern Creek now, fully. It looks very different to how it did in Toka Race Driver 3. I uh, I want to win this race. It's an Eliminator. I won the last Eliminator. Tanaka, please let me pass. Yes. Bit of commitment around the outside. Lots of grip. Changed up too early, because I couldn't really hear my own car over the other cars around me. That is something I've noticed with this game. Into the next hairpin. Just break later than she does. Oh, just about got it stopped. Okay, on to lap three. There's only 14 people left, so this pack is going to get lower and lower with the Eliminator. Once again, bouncing off the Rev Limiter. And I really need to start catching Nathan properly. I've only got a few corners to do it. Run wide. That's a terrible exit onto the pit straight. And all of that gap just comes back. We're a second behind now. But Nathan deserves the victory in this one. It's going to be P2, which sets us up beautifully for the rest of the story. Because I'm up there with Raven West, but I've not beaten them easily just yet. So that is going to be it for today's Driven to Glory episode, but make sure you tune in next weekend for the big finale. Not just the final part of this story mode, but also what will probably be the final episode of my original Race Driver Grid playthrough. Until I see you then, thank you so much for watching, keep it pinned, and have a great day.